In this video, I'm going to show you how to add names to the alternate names tab in the Sports Code Inspector and a possible implementation of the alternate names tab. So there are two ways to add names to the alternate names tab. If I double click this button here and go to this middle um, tab in the inspector, you'll see here I've got four team names already here. I can add a team name by clicking this little plus in the bottom left hand corner. So here I can add a name, let's go the Wellington Saints. And that means when I right click this button now and go to rename, you'll see the Wellington Saints have been added and I can now select them. The other way of doing it is if I double click this player button below, I've also got all these names um, already loaded, but I can't add another player. And that's because I'm auto loading from a CSV. And what that means is that before I um, added these names, I actually added them to an Excel spreadsheet. I put them in the first column, column A, and then I saved this Excel spreadsheet as a CSV and then uploaded it into the alternate names tab. And, that, and because of that now auto loads, no, that means whenever I add a name into this Excel spreadsheet, so if I just add my name, That means now when I right click this button, you'll see my name now appears because it's auto loading from that CSV. So what's a possible implementation of this feature? Well, for this teams button here, I added the button ID of team. And that means when I reference this button in the scripting, if I reference the button ID instead of the actual button name, it means I can get stats for whatever name is in the slot without having to change the scripting. So if I open the scripting of the stat here, you'll see in this first row, I'm using the button ID of team and then adding the word positions to the end of it to match the XML that you get from a huddle assist um, uh, timeline. So now it's gonna be called Canterbury Rams positions. And no matter what I put in the slot here, it's gonna to adjust to that team name plus positions. That way I can then find stats for that team, just referencing that button variable, and then output the stats. So if I right click this button and change the name to another team, it's gonna reference that new team's stats. I don't got a game for the Wellington Saints, here we go. Same with the player, I don't have to change the scripting because in the scripting for this button, I'm just looking for the button ID instead of the actual button's name. So if I change this player, the stats are going to adjust to that particular player. So those were two ways to add names to the alternate names tab and a possible implementation of that into an output window.